Normally, I post a longer videos about Evernote on Mondays, but I was a part of a, a call with uh, Federico Simonato, the uh, head of product for Evernote uh, at Bending Spoons, and uh, he shared a lot of insights with us that I want to pass along to you, especially in light of some of the posts that he has uh, made recently on X or Twitter or whatever we're calling it these days. So the thing that we're going to see in the very near future is it really the feature that has excited me the most. Uh, and that is the ability to customize the panel on the left side of your Evernote screen. You know, the one that lists all of your notebooks and uh, recent notes and notes and tasks and files and notebooks. That whole column, which for me has always represented kind of a an important space, but gets cluttered very quickly. I mean, Evernote added at the top of that column the ability to instantly create a note, a task, or an event. To be honest with you, I almost never use those because I have different ways of creating notes, for example. But what Federico confirmed to us in the experts call this past week is that whole column is now going to be set up so that we can control what appears and what doesn't appear. And I'm glad that they're giving us the flexibility. In fact, to be honest with you, I wish that was the primary focus of, of Evernote, giving us more flexibility in the way things are set up, either on the desktop, the web app, or in particular, uh, the mobile app. So I'm really excited about this. And he seemed to indicate that this was coming sooner rather than later. The next thing that he talked about is something that uh, Evernote announced a few weeks ago, but I don't think it got the attention uh, that it really deserves. And that is now you can leave a shared note. So let's say I shared a note with you. It appeared in your Evernote account, but once it was there, it was kind of stuck. And, um, you know, I ended up with a whole bunch of notes that uh, you know, people have shared with me that I don't use regularly. Well, now they are giving us the opportunity to delete the shared note. So you click open the, the button, you'll see a leaved shared note, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, leave that shared note behind. And that will, of course, uh, reduce the clutter uh, in your system. Uh, another thing is that they have uh, once again reintroduced the two-way calendar sync. You may remember that uh, several months ago, uh, they announced that they were introducing the two-way calendar sync, uh, which was great. It allowed you to sync your calendar from Evernote to another device and, and, and back or, or another uh, calendar app and then uh, have it sync up backwards. They ran into some problems. They pulled that feature back, and now they are reintroducing that. Another thing which uh, maybe you're aware, maybe you are not aware, is that Evernote has increased the size limits for free accounts. If you recall again, earlier this year, Evernote restricted access in the free accounts uh, from a lot of the features, and it reduced the size limitation of what you could put into Evernote. Uh, and of course, there was a lot of there were a lot of people who were very upset about that, particularly the people who used uh, free accounts. Now, free users note size limit will increase from 25 megabytes to 200 megabytes. Your monthly quota uh, will increase from 60 megabytes to 250 megabytes. And if you're a free user, your attachment size increases from 25 megabytes to 200 megabytes. I mean, this is still not going to make everybody happy because there are those people, uh, in fact, maybe you, uh, upset that you know you can't access everything in Evernote on a free account the way it used to be a long time ago. But you know, as I've always maintained, uh, if you really want to use the feature, you should probably be willing to pay for it. Uh, and finally, there's now integration with iOS 18, which then allows you to do a lot of cool things that we weren't able to do before, like quick actions from the control center using Siri, another really great uh, a great option. I like that option because, um, you know, oftentimes when I want to make a note on the fly, uh, now I can use Siri for that. Uh, you're going to be able to use more widgets. 
Uh, they're fully available in iOS 18 uh, for both your home and your lock screen. Uh, I'll probably post something more about that uh, in the very near future. So those are just some of the uh, most recent updates and some things that you can look forward to in Evernote. I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to the series of videos. I like to test drive a lot of the new features as I'll do with these and post videos and from time to time give you updates on new things in Evernote.